the more I think about the Adrian Rich quote, the more I realize I'm um, shortchanging myself. See, what happened is this. She scared me, so I scared her. So she scared me, and I scared her, and she scared me. So I left. She scared me. Neither one of us meant to do this, you realize. I got to give her credit, man. She's a sport for sticking around. So am I. You know, I even blocked her from my YouTube channel, and somehow she managed to squirrel in and watch Wild Things, and she hasn't seen the Adrian Rich yet. So she's been through some upset, and I've been through some upset. I sent her an email today very casually as though nothing had happened about uh, an unrelated and uh, superficial topic. Basically waving a white flag and saying, I'm not going to say anything heavy right now. I also had removed her from my Skype. She also uh, did respond to my request that uh, that she become a Skype contact. So I know she's, uh, that's the weird ways we communicate digitally. Isn't it odd? I remove her from my Skype. I request her to be a contact. Now she's a contact again. You see, without us ever speaking directly to each other. Amazing. And then I did this thing that I think may be very smart or may just be me uh, emotionally masturbating with myself. I don't know. I created a blog. See, one of the problems is the immediacy of email. Sometimes I think she should respond immediately. Sometimes she thinks she should respond immediately, even though I didn't mean it that way. And then there's the whole thing about trying to understand what each other is saying when you're, it's just text. And you know how it works. So shit that was meant to come out one way comes out shit. Ugh. Plus, she's been stressed, and that made me anxious. And when I got anxious, she got more stressed, and you see how that goes. So I created a blog. And that way, as I go through my day, if I find little bits and pieces or think of something, I can just post it in the blog. And when she gets a few minutes to sit down with a cup of coffee or something, she can go through. It's no big deal. It's just little snips, you know. The other advantage about a blog is we can um, talk within the blog. Uh, like if she posted something, I could add text to it in a different color as opposed to copying and pasting and all that crap you do with email. The other advantage, of course, of the blog is that you can use all different sorts of media. Um, I just posted a uh, YouTube video that I think is applicable. So don't expect to hear from her for three days, at least, if at all. They're very, very different people. But like I said, the more I think about that Adrian Rich thing, I want a life with integrity. I want a life that means something. If other people want to be superficial and shallow, fine. We'll find out if she's superficial and shallow. I think not. Otherwise, I wouldn't be following around like a little besotted puppy, right? I have a lot more patience with my dog these days. The way he trails me around and wants my attention and jumps out of bed when I go in the kitchen for a cup of coffee because he doesn't want to be in the bed alone and stuff that used to drive me crazy. <laughs> I'm a lot more patient with it. And he's also mirroring back to me how I need not to be. Um, there's a little girl in all of us that needs something. And it's up to me to take care of that little girl. Not her. So, I don't mean suck it up and ignore it and deny myself stuff and all that cold, harsh Republican shit. I mean, it's up to me to take care of it. Uh, I feel less crazy. I feel less... When I cut off ties with her, I felt bereft. I'm trying to check in with myself and see if I was going through withdrawal, as in, am I becoming uh, dependent, as in, toward addiction? Am I using this as an excuse to uh, 
as a distraction from my life. Well, considering I washed all the dishes and I've got water cooking for a bath and I've been cleaning out the yard and everything, I don't think I'm really being, and been going to doctors and, oh, I've got to tell you all about that. I don't think I'm distracting myself from my life. I'm also getting ready to do a blog TV. Been working on a couple of other videos while finishing Wounded Warriors and so on. So I don't think I'm distracting myself from my life. I just need to keep checking in on that, you know, because it would be real easy to uh, objectify and use somebody instead of trying to actually relate to the other person. And the video I just watched, I'll post it in the underbar about projecting shadows onto people. I asked her, I can't pronounce her name, I'm not going to try. I said, have you been following me around? Because I don't want to relate to M as a mirror of myself. I want to relate to her as who she really is. And that's not easy. For one thing, there's all the little illusions in my head. For another thing, there's the total urge to be in denial about aspects of M that I don't approve of. And checking in with myself about whether I can let that go and whether I can work with that because nobody's perfect, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, all of this is completely hypothetical because who knows if M's going to want to work with me at all after the weekend's over. I don't think she wants to get rid of me. I'm just going over emails and things she said. I don't think she wants to get rid of me. I also... I don't know how I fit into her life and neither does she. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be there. I know she's supposed to be here. How that looks... How much honesty, how much intimacy, how much integrity we can bond together with, I have no idea. I have no idea. That'll be a conversation we need to have, she and I. If we can't have that conversation, that'll tell me a lot. Well, as you can probably tell, I terribly much need a bathroom to wash my hair and so on. Uh, I have a little surprise video coming up for you. Now that you see me in all my nightgowns and in bed and so on, I have a surprise video coming up for you. I'm feeling very, I'm resentful at the way uh, white middle class atheist men, most of whom are heterosexual, I'm getting really tired of the way they're characterizing feminism. And that's something to say. And I'm going to do it in a way that I think it'll be pleasant. It'll be good for me. I hope it's good for you. So, uh, I have a raggedy fingernail. Excuse me while I bite it. Yeah, I have to give you a medical update and all that kind of stuff. But people are expressing concern about my <coughs> emotional well-being. I'm not making it up. I love her. I forgot how challenging it is. And I'm meeting with resistance not because not because of anything I'm doing wrong or because she's a bad person or I'm a bad person or any of that stupid petty bullshit. Uh, so we really need to get over these resentments because it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with circumstances, logistics where we are in our lives, that sort of thing. And we need to uh, accept each other as we are and let each other have room. I'm just acutely aware that I may not have much time left. And I want things to move forward. But, you know, if you push, people resist. 
so I got to put on my big girl boots. She's so worth the work. I'm so worth the work. This could really be something very, very interesting. It already is. It's already something interesting. I mean, this could be really interesting. This is an extremely unexpected thing that has happened in my life, and no doubt hers. This could be very interesting. I think it could be a very useful, productive, and creative collaboration. If we can just work out the kinky things. I won't say work out the kinks. I like the kinks. Well, have a good weekend. If I get a chance, I'll, uh, I'm already starting production on the little surprise ice cream and cake video. We'll see.